Well, hello everyone. Dan Hurt, Dan Hurt Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I am back here on the Fraser River with my buddy Pete. Say hi, Pete. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> the water is still crazy low. It should not be this low. We're gonna take advantage of low water and try in a few spots that we can't usually get to. If we don't find gold down here, we'll move back up top to where we know there's good gold. So wish us luck and I hope you enjoy. This low water is crazy. We have never seen it this low and never this late into the year is it even slightly low. So we got some cracks down here that show some promise. I think I saw one over the edge over down here somewhere. We're gonna see what we can find. Pete's already at it. Sound Found good? gold yet? No gold, but gonna get some. Gonna get some. Yeah. Let's do it. So we've each grabbed a crevice. Pete's over there having his morning snack, it looks like. But he's gonna clear out a crevice there. I'm gonna clear out this crevice right here. If we don't find gold, as I said, we'll move up top. But actually, there's another crevice right there I might get to. We'll try them both. And there's a tiny little spot where I can pan. I think Pete's just having fun throwing rocks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, let's see if that piece of rock there is free and we can get the material that's in behind it. A little bit there, there's not much. Not much at all. I'll be lucky if I can fill one pan from down here. Oh yeah, really easy to move the rock. And a little bit of material behind it. And that's gonna be my first pan, right there. Not gonna be much material at all. So no, that crack didn't even have enough to fill a quarter pan. There might be a few other little tiny deposits here I can grab, but let's pan that out and see if there's anything. See if we're just wasting our time. Okay, I did find another tiny little crack there, but basically just, you know, not even half a cup of material. There's little bits like that in the pan. Let's see if there's anything in there. What's up, Pete? Zero. Zero. I'm probably gonna get the same in mine. Pete didn't find anything in his first pan. If I don't find anything in mine, we're moving. There's places on this bar where you can get like 30 pieces in one pan. And I know exactly where they are. Just with this water being so low, we thought we'd come down and try right at the water's edge. A, stuff that we can't always get to, and B, the water's right here for panning. Up top, it's a long ways away. Oh, well, there's gold. Let's get the close up for that. So yes, there's gold. We'll snuffer that up, but we're gonna find a better spot than this. I know there's much better spots than this on this claim. Okay, maybe one more try down here. This rock is loose. It's got some nice material behind it. One more little handful. And there was nothing in that spot either. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Alrighty, now that's some good gold. I decided to change spots. I've come way up the hill, up into this uh, spot that has a whole lot of fractured up shale here and just dug into some of the pockets and wow wait till you see what i found now my first indication i might be onto something good is i found three lead fishing weights up there that is always a good sign heavies are washing out then below the lead oh my goodness there's gold everywhere let's get the close up on that there we go, first good pan of the day. Can do a few more pans from this spot here, maybe move some boulders and see if maybe we can find some bigger gold in this area. Just pushed it all into one spot so you can get a better close up look of that gold. Let's snuff it up and get another pan. Whoop, there it is. First piece of gold sitting on bedrock. Let's get in on that to get a good shot. It's too bright out here. I can't see the camera. I don't know if the gold is in frame. I think it's in the center there somewhere. Let's hope. 
Well, that's what was sitting on bedrock. Little flake of gold. In the pan she goes. So I either walk way down to the water's edge to pan, way over there to pan, or there's a little puddle up above Pete that we can pan in, but it's very small. I think I'm going to the puddle for now. We'll fill that up in two or three pans though. Now it's a very small puddle here. Very, very small. Hopefully it's enough to pan this out in, but as the tailings will plug up this puddle in no time. More than the last pan. More than the last pan. Well, I hope so. I just started panning. Oh, here comes Pete with a pan too. Pete's gonna have good gold. I can feel it in my bones. I may have to shovel out this puddle every once in a while. Yeah, I'm working this one here. You're working on that one? Easier than going down to the river, even though it's hard panning in the puddle. Yep. What are we, like 30 feet above the river here? Probably? At least. Yeah. At least? <laughs> and the weird thing is the river gets up this high and higher when right. spring runoff comes. Okay, come on gold. We can do it. There will be gold. But how much? I know there's at least one flake. Oh, two more pieces of lead. That's a good sign. I'm down on the heavies. Oh, not quite as much as the last pan, but still pretty good. There's probably 20 pieces of gold in there. A couple of okay flakes. Pizza's nice. That's the way to do it. And how many are in yours? Make Let's a guess. Uh, I had 10 last time, so I'm going 14 this time. 14. Awesome. How do you feel about that pan, Pete? Uh, 10 or 12. I'm used to 20 or 30. But I got some, but not much. Counting the wee little ones. Oh yeah, there's gold. Yep. There be gold. In your little pan, yep. little pan for little man. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's my pan. Pete had about half that amount of gold in his, but he was doing some topsoil stuff. He's now down onto the bedrock, so his next pan should be better. Zoom in a little closer. Okay, on to panning some more. <laughs> you still have a ways to get down to the bottom there, Pete. I know. I got this track here, right here. Oh, that'll be good. That's, That's right there. above the crack that we had so, so much, much gold, gold in. Yes. And it's kind of similar. It's running down. Nuggets, man. You're finding yep. nuggets today. Yep. Once you get it cleared, we should try to move this thing out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and me, I'm just clearing bedrock. I think I'm just gonna keep going up to the rock face there. Just keep going, going, and going. Hopefully somewhere in there, there's a big one. Found a great little pocket going down that way. Cleaning out the best I can into my pan, my pan is full. I haven't seen any gold on bedrock, but I know it's there. I know it's in the pan. And before you waste any of your time typing it, yes, I could be using a vacuum to cleaning this up. I often do bring my vacuum down here to suck up the material that's sitting on bedrock. I decided not to today because it's a long hike in and I just wanted to take it easy. I didn't want to be packing a whole bunch of gear. Uh, yes, I could be using a brush to brush it down. Uh, there is reasons why I could and why I shouldn't, but today, I'm just taking the easy stuff, finding easy pans, taking it easy, and enjoying myself. All right, here we go again. I'll show you what I got in there in one sec. And in this pan, we have another, <laughs> another lead weight, an unshot bullet. So a 22 bullet there that's unshot. And another chunk of lead, not much gold. There's flakes of gold there, but not very much. So that pocket I went down into, wasn't holding it. Let's go the other way. So yes, gold, but not as much. Next pan will be better. Hardly nothing for me. Hardly nothing for Pete? Yep. Uh-oh, maybe it's time to move again. Well, Pete's not ready to go to the good spot yet. He says a couple more pans here before we move over there where the good stuff is. I think you're gonna find it there, Pete. Okay, down there didn't seem to have it, so let's move up there and see if it's better up there. Maybe it was just that pocket. Maybe that's all that had it. Who knows? Okay, panel 17. Let's see what it's got. I think Pete's up there panning right now. Pete says nothing. Nothing, nothing? Nothing. 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 Hmm. Uh, one. One. Maybe it's time to move. Two. 
The material I'm panning sure is looking good. It's got the heavy black rocks in it. It's got all the lead pieces, bullets, all that kind of stuff. It does have lots of gold, but I'm hoping for the bigger pieces of gold. It's kind of why I went here rather than the other side where I know there's lots of gold. I was looking for some bigger chunks today. So far, I haven't found them. No lead in that one. Ooh, but lots of gold. Lots of gold. Oh yes, moving the other way was better. That's a good pan. Ho oh, ho! Yes, this is a nice pan. Nice, nice pan. Definitely doing another from that direction. And back for more. Pete, you change spots? I try, I'm, I'm trying a new spot. Okay, good luck there. I'll, I'll let you know real quick. Watch Pete speed panning. Ooh, lots of heavy rocks I see. I see the black rocks in there. Yep, and tilt it a bit more. That's good Let's enough for me. See. Oh yeah, there's some gold. Look at the size of the flakes. Yeah. Those are nice. There's one on this one there. Good stuff, eh, Pete? Yeah. If we could move those rocks up there, I tell yeah. you, there's big gold up yeah. under those rocks. That pile right there, I know there's nuggets underneath it. That's a good pan. Yep. That's a really good pan. Happy with that, with the size especially. Yeah, and yep. it's right there. It's like a two second walk. I didn't even scrape that much on that pan. I was kind of just digging the big layer of dirt that's underneath the shale. So yeah, do it again. Pete found a picker. Pete's picker. Nice. Really easy digging. Less than a minute to fill the pan. Not as nice as the last pan, but still better than any of the pans before. So I'm sticking with that spot. So yes, not as nice as the last pan, but still pretty good. Gold everywhere. Could be because I wasn't scraping bedrock quite the same way, but definitely up there is where the gold's at. Okay, this time is a lot more scraping and brushing and cleaning bedrock. Let's see what means more gold. If not, I'll just take the easy stuff every time. Pete found another picker while I was gone. Yep. I'm going to have the picker in here. So as the puddle fills up with our tailings, we're just uh, shoveling it out, putting it aside. And meaning that we're actually able to pan in this puddle for a lot longer than I was expecting, for sure. Now, before you say I should bring a bin down to pan in, we do that once in a while. We bring bins down here, fill them up, and pan right beside where we're digging. Uh, it's just a long hike in. The more you carry, the harder things are to, you know, get in. So, uh, we don't bring too much stuff down here. And today, we have a puddle to pan in, so we don't even need the bin. Some days, you have to walk down to the river. Sometimes, you bring a, a bin. Okay, let's see if scraping the bedrock does a better job than just digging the easy stuff. Still no lead. That's interesting that I had so many pieces of lead in that first section and none up here. Ooh, nice big piece of gold. Not quite a picker like Pete's. And not all that, oh, it's a good pan. It's a nice, nice pan, but yeah, I'm not sure if it was worth the extra time to scrape the bedrock. Well, it's nice and consistent, especially for easy digging. Gold in every pan, yep. What'd you find, Pete? Oh, ho, ho, ho. another, that's even bigger. Pete is on the big gold. Pickers in every pan and nice. That'll add up way faster than what I'm getting. Right. You have half the number of pieces, but they're bigger. Yep. Adds up way, way faster. Yep. Well done, Pete. Ah, that's awesome. So the bedrock took a bit of a step down. I didn't get it on film because I left my camera up here, but uh, took a step down looked like really good stuff and I saw two flakes go in so could be good oh, oh, oh. Danny boy that's the way to do her oh, yeah still nice Pete still nice not as good but nice I'm running out of water here I'll come and lend some wimpy muscles in a second. Oh, I just wanna...
this could be a good pan. Seeing two go going in makes me think there could be a lot more there. Especially since the bedrock stepped down like that, could make a natural catch. The material was wet down there, as in it might be a low spot. And I just have a good feeling about it. Okay, let's see what's in here. <laughs> Another 22 bullet, unshot. <laughs> oh yeah, there's some nice gold up there. Not much better than the last pans though. Very consistent. Very, very consistent. But I said I want the big pieces today, and I'm on a spot that has consistent small stuff. I might need to move up to where Pete's at, get some of those pickers. Steal Pete's pickers. Okay, we'll see how this pan does. If it's not really good, we're gonna move up top here. Well darn, it's one of the best pans I've had today. Not the best, but one of the best. Now what do I do? Well, those are bigger pieces than I've been used to down there, but they're not the pickers that Pete's been getting. So let's move up top and see if we can find one of Pete's pickers. That's right, I'm gonna steal from Pete. Okay, it's a pan from Pete's spot, which was actually my spot. Just underneath that green rock right there, uh, we found a whole lot of pickers, a lot. The problem is we can't move these uh, boulders. Underneath we know there's good stuff, but we've just gone in behind to, uh, yeah, see what pickers move the other side. Pete's already found a few. Hopefully I can find one. Okay, let's have a look. There's still a lot of material in there. Oh yeah, bigger flakes, more of them. I gotta say there's two in there I'd call, call pickers. Yep, Pete's on the pickers, that's for sure. Nice. I think Pete's picker was bigger, but look at that. There's four of them in this pan, plus a bunch of small stuff. Four pickers in one pan? I'm going back there. Okay, I must be getting tired. Pan number two is only half a pan. But let's see if we have as many pickers. Not just half a pan, but a very small half pan. Mm. You grabbed a different uh, spot there, Pete? Yeah, just to test it. Let's see. Gold, not nearly as much though. Nah, I just didn't take nearly as much material. Almost pathetic considering what was in the last pan. Now I'm just getting greedy. So I found a nice, nice deep hole right beside where I was digging last, right beside where all those pickers came from. And a couple of big flakes, less gold overall, but three big, big flakes in there. All right. So big gold does add up a lot faster than small gold. Far less spec count here, but bigger pieces. And that's what I wanted today. I want some bigger pieces. This pan seemed to have exactly the same material as the last pan, you know, same crevice, same type of stuff, really sandy right down the bottom. I'm guessing three good flakes. One good flake, two good flakes. Two good flakes, exactly what I said. Two all right flakes? But that's not what we're looking for. We need bigger and more. I think I'm gonna take uh, Pete over to where Jason and I were digging uh, last time I was here, just to compare the two spots. Can't quite remember how much we were getting. Let's go have a look. Quick bite, quick drink. Now let's go find more gold. Now this is where Jason and I were getting really good pans our last trip here. So let's try one. See if it matches what we were getting over on the other side. We're both getting big, big full pans and pre-classified up here. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have good gold, guaranteed. Here we go for the long walk down to the water's edge with the pan. Uh-oh. Is there anywhere to pan? The water's up a little bit from when we were here because our panning spot is missing. Oh yeah, we can pan right there. Hey, 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 a sitting rock. Ha <laughs> ha, nice place to pan. The river's uh, colder than the pool was, the pond was, the puddle. Pete must have peed in it. Ah, but it's nice having space to pan. A 
I think Pete's waiting for my sitting rock. And how was it compared to the other spot? Ho ho ho, Petey! Biggest piece of the day for me. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Nice picker and a bunch of big flake. I see why Jason and I like that spot so much. <laughs> okay, Pete, your turn. Sounds good. Here we go. Still got to clean up mine to show you with close up, but gotta see how Pete does. Pieces. Two pieces? A few. You were digging the same ground as me. Yeah, but I only did two uh, classifies. You did about four. <laughs> Your pan's bigger. I think Pete ran back for another one. I know I'm going to. <laughs> one more time in there because the last one was so good. It was definitely in some different material down there. Big haul, really crunchy stuff, lots of bedrock. This looks good. Pete and I were just talking. We're both getting pretty tired. I think this is my last pan today, Pete. Same. Okay, yeah. here we go. Wish us luck on the last pan. Love this place. The wind's not too bad today either. Okay, one last pan. Let's hope there's no nuggets in there. There he is, Dan doing the washing machine effect, I call it. Circulation and movement. My cameraman, Petey! Well, checking it out, nice and close. So Pete says that if either of us get more than 20 pieces in these pans, that we have to do one more. I don't know if I have another one in me, but still hoping for more than 20. What if it's just really one really, really big piece, Pete? Yeah, we're going back for another. Okay, a big one is equivalent to 20 little ones. Yep. Okay, the moment of truth. Here we go. 20 pieces. Not in my pan, nope. no. Two, three, four. Five, not maybe. much. Nope. Well, it wasn't my pan. Maybe it'll be Pete's. Stir it up. Washing machine. One, two, three. Stir it up. Sometimes I do that. Just to mix it. Stir it up. One, two. Now I switch to one hand. Panning lessons by Pete. Yep. Generally three each time. Pull her back, stir it. One, two, three. Pull it back. One, two, three. Pull it back. I'm ready to take a look in a few minutes, not even a minute. A little steeper as I get close. I'm gonna pan your tailings, Pete. <laughs> yep. Yep, it's been done and Bones done it and uh, the, all the black sands. And no gold. So, yeah, and I tried a new spot, but lots of blacks, but it was a lot of surface gravels. Yeah. I didn't get down. Well, there we go. Neither of us got the 20 pieces, so let's check out what's in our snuffer bottles. Let's start with Pete's. Okay. Here we go. Take a look at today's haul. You're just prolonging the anticipation here, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> Get rid of the... Muddy market. water from yep. the puddle, yeah. Okay. Nice, Pete. Very nice. Yep, some really nice here. I'll let you shake her. Here's Pete's haul for the day. Not bad for a fun day out here panning and enjoying the wilderness and hanging out with friends. Yep, yeah, amen. And now mine. We'll start with a shot of the lead for the day. Six fishing weights and two bullets. Unshot bullets. Very strange. And then the gold. 
But of course, you want to see the close-up of that shot. And my take for the day. Possibly a little bit more than Pete's, but I do use that bigger pan, which just means I can go through a bit more material. I think Pete was actually on the better ground today. But doesn't matter how much gold I found, I got to hang out with Pete for the day. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Makes me happy. And great weather, great spot. Love the Fraser. And when this water comes back up, we're going to be able to do a whole lot more up there where we don't have to walk so far to the river. There's a lot of gold left to be had. Of course, I'll be taking this home, weighing it up, and giving you a total right here. Well, the results are all dried up, cleaned up, dried up, ready to weigh. And it comes out to... 0.45, basically half a gram of gold. Great day hanging out with Pete and finding some of that nice shiny gold. Looks like I left a piece of lead in there. Oops, that's probably a piece of iron. Mostly gold. Amazing day at the Fraser River. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave that thumbs up. Hope I earned your subscription today. And a big thanks to everyone for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.